When their friend was diagnosed with cancer, two El Cajon fifth graders never imagined it would make her feel unwelcome at school. But in a story that is positively San Diego, the Vista Grande students tell our tenders reporter Amanda Brandeis they quickly devised a plan to have her back. Riley Lee and Matthew Stevens didn't do this for the recognition Just act normal. or for a TV news crew to come to school. My brain is about to explode. They know she can hear us, right? I know. They did this so a friend wouldn't feel so alone. Oh, come on. So usually, most of the people in school don't really like care what your appearance is. But after I heard about that, I'm like, that's not right. Their friend Trianne is undergoing chemotherapy for leukemia. She was coming back to school for half days because she was doing a little bit better. And we heard that she was being bullied. It made me feel actually sad and nervous for her. In their minds, yeah. there was only one solution. Riley, how do you feel right now? By looking more like their friend, they wanted Trian to know she's not alone. Many of us have been here when she was first diagnosed. It was a complete shock. But even with that, a student, for a female student to tell me that she was willing to shave her head, I, I didn't believe it. Principal Tita Cordero Bautista says they use the experience as a lesson in empathy for the whole school. Appearance doesn't really matter. It just matters what's on the inside. We've already seen the change. Uh, Tran was on campus on Monday. Rocking a big smile and her bald head proudly. I'm doing this is hard, <laughs> real hard. It's a lesson the teachers didn't plan for, but maybe one of the most important students will learn all year. What you look for in a friend isn't what you see, it's what you feel. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Wow, yeah. what amazing children. Obviously their parents are probably pretty amazing Very too. Very <laughs> proud too, yeah, yeah. These kids are more mature than some adults we know. Very much so. I've just been talking about it. a total that. of five students have now shaved their heads in solidarity. Trianne hopes to be back in school next month. We wish her well.